What's good in the hood, YouTube? This is Crazy Sam Ross and one here bringing us another video. Today I'm bringing us a video on Power Ranger Super Ninja Steel episode 15. This episode is called Tech Support. The episode overall was decent. Um, it was a filler episode, which means it wasn't one that really expanded on the story at all. Um, as far as things go, this episode was also very weird for its release, just because of the fact that the episode itself shouldn't even be releasing this week, because typically, if you know Nickelodeon, today's actually the Worldwide Day of Play. And the thing is, is that, why is that important? Well, the Worldwide Day of Play is a day that is meant to be for, for kids to go outside and, you know, be active and not sit down and watch TV. They're supposed to be doing stuff. So when you decide to release a new episode of a show like this, where you're basically making it so that there's an incentive to watch TV, you're basically drawing people away from um, going and, and being active. You're actually making them sit and watch TV. So it's sort of counterintuitive, I guess you could say, in the sense is that it's like, you're basically encouraged, encouraging them to stay indoors to watch the show. Again, I'm not complaining in the sense is that it's a new Power Rangers episode, so, you know, I'm glad to at least see it. But if you know Power Rangers in past years, this is typically the one week where they tend to skip um, releasing a new episode and then wait till the following week to release the, a new episode. So, again, interesting choice, but not one that I'm going to overall complain about. Just something that's kind of weird and many people have been discussing that whole entire deal of like, why would they release this if their whole entire point for this day is for them not to be indoors. You're basically making them go in. Anyway, moving on. So this episode begins with us seeing that there's this girl named Emma. She's helping out with um, the person at the school desk, uh, making it so that there's a system that will go into um, the school's computers that will allow them to systematically access all the files they need rather than having huge binders that have all the information. And the thing is, is that apparently Emma is a shoe in for this uh, technology prize that they'll be giving out uh, sometime soon. And the thing is that Victor overhears this and he is like, hmm, a technology prize. This could be my 50th um, award. I better start coming up with some strategy. So at that point, Victor and Monty begin to brainstorm. And of course, this makes a lot of sense because again, the, his big focus is that. That's been his goal from the, from the start. So uh, yeah, he begins to do that. In the meantime, what happens is, is that um, Emma ends up going with Brody elsewhere because they actually have to train. Yes, apparently um, Brody ends up training Emma. Uh, Emma is training in, you know, martial arts by Brody and so they go over things in this kind of uh, you know pathway which is a new location not one that I actually had seen prior to now although maybe it might have been used or at least not from the angles that it was used in this one because uh, again they may have used it it just may have been altered but I did like the use of it in this episode so that is something to note um so they do end up training a little bit and then what happens is is that Emma explains how she's training because she wants to be um, as as good a ninja as the Power Rangers are. And the thing is, is that, you know, Brody just kind of smiles and says, okay. Uh, and the thing is, is that Emma thinks that she's really getting good. And Brody says, well, you definitely need to work on things, but, um, you know, you're definitely, you definitely could get better. Uh, you know, she, he's not completely against her abilities, but he's not so sure that he, that she's at the level of being a ranger or anything like that. Uh, she's just enthusiastic and really wants to learn martial arts. So the thing is, is that following this, um, they're heading out to head back to school um, when Emma mentions, hey, do you have anything you need? And the thing is, is that Brody mentions that his phone has this problem running a certain app on his phone and maybe she could fix it. So she begins to look at it and then what happens is, is that suddenly a monster appears. This monster is known as Typeface. Typeface ends up attacking uh, Brody and knocks him back. And then he ends up getting up and telling Emma to run off and go to safety. In the meantime, what happens is that we see Brody transform, and then he begins to fight uh, Typeface. Uh, eventually, the other rangers join in the battle because what happens is that Brody sends a message to the uh, to their base, uh, telling the rangers about what's going on. In the meantime, what we actually see though is that the rangers are actually working on getting their weapons connected to the computers properly, making sure there's no viruses or issues so that they can access their powers in full. And it turns out that everything is working perfectly so they can do it all the weapons are working fine well 
What happens is the Rangers go down to head into battle. Um, they end up doing pretty well, defeating a bunch of monsters, but they're still not in the best shape. And at one point, what happens is that Emma appears on the scene. And there are people in the area that are starting to record footage of the battle. So what happens is, is that suddenly Emma joins the battle using her weapon, and she ends up trying to fight. And the Rangers are, you know, worried for her because she's getting involved in a battle where she really shouldn't be there at all. And so they end up trying to protect her by defeating the monsters. And the thing is, is that as they defeat them, she goes in to do a, a finishing blow after the monster's already been destroyed, making her believe that she actually defeated them, when in reality, the Rangers were doing all the work. This happened first with, I believe, um, Zo uh, what do you call it? Sarah and Haley when they use their weapons and then what happens is that she goes in for a, a finishing move and then Calvin does one to one of the Basher bots and what happens is is that uh, that time um, she goes in for another move and she tries to act like oh don't worry I protected you yellow ranger it was just a weird thing but um, you know it makes her feel like she's really strong in reality, she's just being helped the whole time and they're having to be put in a difficult situation where they're really having to protect her and make sure that she doesn't do anything too dangerous because she immediately thinks that she's now like this invulnerable, super strong person that could become a ranger if she wanted to. And so the thing is, is that uh, things are going to get interesting from here. So at this point, what happens is, is that uh, we end up seeing that the Rangers are worried about Emma because this may get to her head. She may end up thinking that she'll, she can fight now and get involved in their battles when really she shouldn't be. And we end up seeing them back at school where Emma is getting a lot of attention for what she did. Um, and so what happens is, is that eventually... Uh, Brody ends up speaking to her because Emma actually gives Brody back his phone, which is working now. And what happens is that Brody says, Hey, Emma, I, I yes, I do know about uh, what happened uh, regarding the Ranger stuff. And the thing is, is that Bro is that she also says that she doesn't want any more training because she was able to fight alongside the Rangers and she was really strong and did really well to her from her mindset. And so the thing is, is that she doesn't want to be trained anymore. And he, Brody says, look, I don't want you to get hurt. And I don't want you to do anything too dangerous because you might really injure yourself. And the thing is that she believes she's like the toughest thing right now. She, she feels like she's super strong and, um, and she has this big head going for her, uh, that makes her think that way. So then what happens is, is that, um, the Rangers, end up getting another buzz cam call and the thing is that prior to this actually we end up seeing that Badana, um, Matamodius and Typeface are in the same room and apparently Matamodius questions why Typeface did not infect the ranger's weapons so in this case what happens is that Matamodius suggests that Badana go down to make sure that he infects their weapons so eventually they head um, um, Typeface heads down with Badana um, this time what happens is, is that the Rangers end up fighting, they're doing okay, um, they actually split off at one point where we end up seeing that Preston and Levi end up fighting Typeface, and then uh, Brody, Calvin, Haley, and Sarah end up fighting uh, Badana. And what happens is that at one point Badana manages to knock them back to the point that they're on the ground, Emma decides to join in the battle, but what happens is that she uses her weapon, she tries to block an attack that Badana throws at her, and what happens is, is that her weapon breaks. Uh, you know, it's a wooden sword, so it breaks into, uh, you know, these pieces, showing that she really isn't as strong as she thought she was. Uh, she just got lucky. Uh, or, really, she didn't even get lucky, she was just uh, fortunate that someone was protecting her. Um, so the thing is, is that things are not going her way and the Rangers do try to protect her and she realizes right away that, you know, she's not as tough as she thinks she is. So she has to go to safety and, uh, Haley brings her to a separate area, but then they continue to fight. And what happens is, is that, uh, Badana retreats, then the other Rangers join up. And what happens is, is that typeface ends up infecting, um, uh, Preston's weapon. Um, so then what happens is is that um pre what happens is, is that Preston ends up um you know realizing that weapon is infected because there's like this energy pulsing through it and then what happens is is that suddenly all the rangers weapons are infected by a virus Mick ends up contacting them basically saying this to them 
and what happens is is that at this point they have to uh, go back to the base and see what's going on. So yes, all their weapons are damaged and they need to get someone that can actually reprogram the weapons so that they're not infected. And they, f their first thought is to speak to Emma. So at that point they have to transform into their ranger forms, contact her and basically say, uh, you know, try to ask her to help out. She feels bad because she decided to get involved when she really shouldn't have, and she doesn't feel like she can be a real ninja. And what happens is, is that the rangers try to say, look, you may not have been a regular ninja, but you can still help us. There's still a way for you to help us by helping us uh, fix our weapons. So at that point, she ends up uh, being blindfolded by the rangers, which she's willing to do because she's gonna be going to the base and she's so excited about that. So she heads there. And what happens is, is that at first they actually try to loop around the junkyard a bunch of times so that it creates the illusion of uh, as if the base is very far away, even though it's really right there. And so they eventually do it and bring her into this base. Um, once inside, since Mick is a teacher and since she probably knows him, Mick has to transform. So we actually get to see him transform again, which is something we haven't really seen that much in the show overall. This is probably like the second or third time in the entire show that he's actually transformed into something. So in this case, he transforms so that he isn't seen. Um, Emma meets Redbot, and then eventually she begins to get to work on fixing the Ranger's weapons. Eventually, Typeface does come down again to try to attack the Rangers. The Rangers try to fight, and they're not doing so well. They use their Ninja Blades, can't really use them. Um, then what happens is they try to use their, um, you know, their ninja uh, gun-based weapons, and it's still not working super well. But eventually, Emma manages to fix things so that the rangers can use their weapons again. We eventually see them do their attacks, and they manage to destroy Typeface. And then following this, what happens is is that Typeface is turned big. In this case, what happens is, is that the Rangers end up summoning the Ninja Blaze Megazord and they end up going to battle against Typeface. Um, Typeface um, uses his spacebar key to allow him to travel through space to different locations. So he's able to teleport and sneak attack them, which is pretty cool, pretty interesting idea. I mean, I like the idea of how certain, you know, keys on a keyboard I mentioned, like he uses the escape key to escape, he uses the space key to travel through space. You know, it's just interesting ideas right there. So eventually they do manage to defeat um, the, they do manage to defeat Typeface, and what happens is, is that the Rangers say, you are now our honorary computer ninja. And so, um, you know, she's happy, they're happy, and things are good. What we end up seeing at the school, well actually what we end up seeing first is that um, Brody is training, Emma comes over and says that she is sorry for how she behaved and that she's not going to get involved in the rangers battles but she does want to train with brody some more and he accepts it and he's willing to work with her so then what happens is we end up seeing at the school is that they're going to award the technology award and in this case what happens is is that the technology award is going to be uh some something that the the principal is going to announce but then what happens is is that um the range is that Victor and Monty have their own concoction that they made. Now, previously in this episode, I forgot to mention this, they ended up making a special pool device, like, you know, uh, you know, pool, like billards. Um, they made a device which didn't really work that well, but then they ended up making a food device, one that they can have like a cook, uh, like a, a robot cook that will make like six different food items. And what happens is, is that Victor ends up pressing all six buttons, which leads to tons and tons of food being thrown at people. The principal, the students, the rangers, you name it. Everyone gets, gets hit with food. It's not like a food fight, but it's almost like a food fight in a way. Except the only one that's dishing out the food is the robot. None of the ra rangers or Victor or Monty. In fact, everyone really gets covered at some point. And who gets the reward? Emma does. Um, yes, Victor Monty's invention was, for the most part, successful, but it got out of hand, and clearly the principal decided to go with Emma, which was the smarter choice, and the episode pretty much ends there. So overall, this episode was 
okay. Again, as I said before, um, I thought that there were some nice moments about it, and I'm definitely looking forward to the next couple episodes. Um, we are getting towards the very end. Uh, you know, Tynamon will be getting greater significance very soon. Um, there'll be stuff regarding the final story plot with Madame Odious, and, uh, you know, just things are going to start boiling down to getting more and more serious and develop into a really interesting story, uh, hopefully. I mean, well, at least a better one. Again, understand this now. Um, for those that have already seen the international spoilers regarding information, um, the season looks like it's going to end okay. It's definitely not going to be the strongest end for a season ever, but it does sound like it's going to be pretty decent. Um, you know, it's not the best situation, but they decided to change things up from what it was in Japan to what it is now, and um, honestly, I'm looking forward to seeing how it's going to work and actually being able to see it, because uh, again, I, I know the information, but I, don't, I haven't actually seen the episodes yet, so I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that so until then guys i'm crazy samurai 71 and goodbye guys